Welcome to Critical Manufacturing here at IPC Apex Expo. Uh, I'm joined by Pedro Oliveira, uh, who's uh, from, I think you're from the Portugal office, I believe. Exactly, from Porto. Okay. So, um, uh, Pedro, we're here to talk today about uh, your, your factory automation software, which is based on open automation. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us, for the, the benefit of our viewers, mm -hmm. what aut open automation is? Yes, very well. So, first of all, it's, uh, I'm glad to have you here, Trevor. Welcome to Critical Manufacturing Experience Area. And yes, open automation is a, 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 it's a concept that basically um, we are using to explain uh, the customers how they can achieve a full automated or a lights out operations. And basically the open automation is the concept, mm -hmm. the factory automation is the solution. So basically at Critical Manufacturing we have defined it and designed a solution to call it factory automation that basically has the capability to integrate all kinds of elements that you can find on the shop floor right. like automatic storage warehouse, AGVs, uh, the equipment itself um, and even third party applications like quality uh, solutions or the ERP and so on and use this ca uh, integrations capability to collect events that will allow through the definition of a workflow that basically is the automation that we are putting in place yeah. and these events will trigger the, uh, the, the a job that will follow this workflow okay and we have even some use cases to be presented during the, the apex like for instance the the, the, the uh, the material replenishment or a feeder replenishment on the placement machine. So basically, whenever a placement machine uh, assembles a board, as consumption will uh, happen, this event will trigger automatically a material request to the warehouse and this feeder will be uh, delivered to the placement machine through AGV and this is happening today. This mm -hmm. is really happening. We have also some other use cases like for instance uh, the replacement of the changeover table. Yeah. So basically uh, as you can see the factory automation can support uh, the, the customers in different stages of the operations, the setup, during the execution and so on and is always the same solution. And in fact, even if the customers, for some reason, doesn't want to go fully automated in nowadays, they can even define by their own pace how to implement these workflows, how to automate these operations. Yeah, so. they, 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 can, they can do it in stages, essentially. Yeah, so, yeah. so the way you're, you're, you're setting this up is that you, you can customize, uh, give uh, customized workflow instructions to the AGVs to uh, go and pick up components from the from the component warehouse, take it back to the kitting area, or if, it, if it's uh, not to go to the kitting area, they can go down straight to the machine. Exactly. Uh, and if it, uh, then when it gets to the machine, it has to do a separate operation to remove the old trolley exactly. bank, exactly. etc. So all of these are separate uh, instructions mm -hmm. uh, that have to be programmed in, but it's very easy using a, almost a point and click system. It's exactly that the purpose, yeah. uh, at least it was a design principle that we followed. Mm -hmm. Basically, we are preparing the solution to be, uh, to provide these workflows out of the box. Right. And this customer just needs to configure the, 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 uh, the positions or the fleet managers that they need to use to uh, basically as using the, the same use case that we have talked about, for instance, to uh, 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 get the feeder to the placement machine. So it will really be a matter of configuration of uh, uh, tables. And so the customer feels autonomous, empowered to use the factory automation by themselves yeah. and even evolve for the next lines or add more lines, add new fleet managers, solutions and so on. Yeah, it's completely open and flexible. I mean, I think the analogy, yeah, the, the analogy I would use is, is it's like a CRM system. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're uh, in a CRM system, you might be designing a customer journey, mm -hmm. uh, exactly. except the customer journey is an AVG journey. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Please. So, so, so then, but a customer journey in a CRM system is usually made up of a series of workflows. Uh, so I think it really, I think that makes it very easy for people to understand uh, how, how you've analogy. constructed it. Yeah. It's a good analogy. So basically it's exactly like we do. We define a workflow that might have different elements of the shop floor. Mm -hmm. And basically whenever a event 
is raised, like the consumption of a, a material or a feeder on the placement machine, it will trigger this workflow. And our ability to uh, speak, if you allow me the expression, with these elements, with the equipment and the, with the AGVs and so on, gives a leverage to the, to the factory automation to define this workflow to, to uh, really put automation in place. So yes. we will automate the process. Yes. So, and I mean, so as you said at the very beginning, I mean, the, the, the ultimate uh, outcome from all of this will be to, to essentially be able to do a lights out factory almost. Exactly, exactly. And uh, yes, so basically um, the customers will be able to define, define their own pace to uh, put this, uh, 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 this automation in place mm -hmm. and they will have the ability to uh, um, to integrate their own equipment, their own elements, their own fleet managers' uh, solutions, and uh, and yes, the, the solution is already made. So basically, it's uh, up to uh, install it. It's uh, up to um, see if be behind the use cases that we have been presenting in the last uh, few months, like Prototronic in Munich, for instance, uh, in November, see if besides these use cases, and there are several of them for SMT, they want to add more use cases and they will be able to do it. So right, right. we will be glad to, to, to work with them on these use cases because uh, they can be also incorporated on the, on the, on the solution uh, as well. So, so, so Pedro, could, could you program it to bring the production manager a cup of coffee at 11 o'clock in the morning? Yes, for instance, <laughs> it might be a nice way to, to, to use the factory automation. <laughs> Now it's a fascinating system, it's well constructed, I like the idea behind it, it's something that I think most people uh, who are involved in any form of computers uh, could, could, could pretty much understand and follow. Uh, so congratulations and thank you for telling us about it today. It was a pleasure to have you here.